Hey, it's Ben from LaunchFlows.com. I want to say thanks to everybody who had kind words about my multi-part series on how to convert an Elementor site into a full Gutenberg site, as we're doing with our very own LaunchFlows. And most of the uh, tips and tricks I've been using have been showing cadence, which I think is really terrific. And this is just the free cadence with the free cadence blocks. However, the same principles I'm using here could apply to whatever theme and block combination are using because they all have very similar features now. My big takeaway, and in this video, I wanna show how it's possible to actually finally uh, cut the cord, if you will, from an additional page builder like an Elementor, which by the way, my friends at Elementor are running an outstanding business, but I think the way that things are going is that you should choose to be all in on Elementor, probably go to their Elementor cloud, or be all in on WordPress using, in my opinion, a traditional theme like a cadence along with the blocks and the patterns and stuff. I for one am not a fan of full site editing. I don't think it's a good idea and I probably, maybe I'll change, but probably will never be teaching it. Instead, I'm gonna show you today how to do one of the last components. In my original launch flow setup, we have our documentation page here. And this was done with a very simple Elementor option where I created a template for a custom post type, which is the uh, documentation post type. It was just basically the same as using posts or pages, but I had a separate one for the documentation. In Elementor, I made a two column layout and I used the built-in Elementor's uh, table of contents widget. Here, I'm doing the same thing with Cadence, and this is the final result. You'll notice there is a small design change. I decided that I would rather have the taxonomy or the category name be a little more subtle for each of the particular six or seven categories that I use. Uh, this was fine, but it just seemed to take up a lot of space on mobile and otherwise, so I'm deciding against doing that. This could be done, however, if you used the hook into uh, any custom location of cadence. That's for another video. So in this particular layout, I get all the same results. However, to my knowledge today, as we sit here, uh, October 6, 2022, there is not a table of contents widget for cadence. So something that would show the particular elements on the page. I want you to notice something else. Notice that when I roll my mouse over, I've also included these links. And that's because I've also added a plugin in that will automatically add these little copy links to each of the title elements. And I'll show you that last. So here's what I did to set this up. The free plugin that I used to add the table of contents as a widget so as to index whatever is on that page was here. It's the Lucky WP table of contents. What's nice is that it is free and it's also available as a widget. The way that I made this page happen was very simple. Cadence, fortunately, does allow for us to have automatically custom post types available to have a different layout from the standard posts or pages. That's one of the things I do really appreciate about using what I'm saying is a traditional theme setup. This stuff here, this customizer stuff, this is gold, baby. There's no reason to have to start making all these custom templates and things when automatically your custom post types are available here in the customizer. And for a normal human being who has limited skills or even an expert, I would like to say like myself, this is so simple. So I went into the custom post type of documentation and I simply made an arrangement that was slightly different than I'm using for my blog post or otherwise. First of all, I decided that I'm gonna use the layout where the title is in the header of the page, which is here. I set it to the left side. I hid the breadcrumbs in the meta because I think that's just distracting in this case. I did, however, display the category. And again, what's nice is if I wanted to, I could put that below the title uh, or I could put it above. I kind of, I like to put it above just because this is going to be kind of combining with that. So I figured I'd go there. What's also nice is there's lots of design capabilities for uh, the layout. So here I just made use of the fact that normally I'm not using a sidebar and I'm using just the full content editor for my layouts. But here I wanted the sidebar because that's what's enabling me to add the table of contents uh, widget from Lucky WP. I also decided on a boxed layout and I kept the vertical padding so there's a little space. 
It was as simple as that. Now let's take a look at the widgets. After I've added the lucky WP table of contents, there is a widget called table of contents. And it gives me a whole wealth of things that you, you know, that I did that you can do for how I want to set it up. Um, what's the minimal number of headings, blah, 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 blah. I don't need to worry about these too much because most of them look good out of the box. However, you can use the uh, settings here, the appearance settings and all the things you need to, to get just the results you want. Uh, in fairness, I am good at CSS, so I did make use of the fact that, like I've shown you in the other videos, I actually created a few customizations for myself with CSS that kind of jazzed up the look of the sidebar. And it also did some things like, for example, adding a nice box shadow around the content because I was really looking to literally emulate what I had before. And I think if I say it like this or show it like this, you can kind of see the origin is, is still there enough that it's not going to throw, whoops, enough that it's not going to throw people off. I think one of the things here, actually, uh, I'll do live. See how this now has lowercase, this said uppercase. What's nice is I believe inside of Cadence, there should be the capability for the design where we can use the option. Let's see if it has it. Uh, interestingly, I was thinking it might happen and it doesn't, and I'm doing this video live. I'm going to use CSS to make this all caps. For some reason, normally it would be available, but for some reason it does not seem to have the option here. Uh, maybe it does. Hold on, let's see. Transform. It does. Okay, so I'm glad I checked. So I'm going to use the all caps and I'm going to publish it. So now I've literally got almost exactly what I had before and it's all done in cadence, which really makes this easy because again, if I'm doing this across multiple sites or I'm trying to re repeat it uh, myself here, I can just use the settings and it applies to all the pages. So in this case, I only have to do this once and all my documentation single layout pages uh, work the same, which is again, <laughs> Why I don't really understand the need for full site editing since this is just a tried and true method. All right, finally, let me go back over here because I promised and I will get you the name of that other plugin that I'm using here in the launch flow stack. And that was called add anchor links. And let's open up and give credit where credit is due. Uh, add anchor links, it's a free plugin. I have had nothing but good success with this. And it's just really terrific for the standpoint of once somebody is using the documentation uh, or even myself, I'll often say like, look, I wanna send you right to this area here about simple product bumps. So you can just essentially make sure it's what you want, right click and copy that link and it'll take you right to that anchor point on the page. All right, this is part of a multi-series. I would really appreciate if you like what I'm showing you here, whether you're a Cadence fan or a Gutenberg fan or in general learning WordPress, let me know if you're watching the YouTube video by clicking like and subscribe and also just commenting wherever you see this. If it's in the YouTube channel or inside one of the Facebook groups, I'd love for you to come on over and visit us at Launch Flows, but also uh, sign up for our new list, which is the WP Launch Kit. This is an actual combination of a newsletter where I'll be highlighting the latest and greatest plugins that are used in this stack, but I'm also gonna be demonstrating all of them four times a month in ready to go one click demos. So you can just get your own free site uh, where if it's the free components, you download it all. If it's the pro components, you can use them and play with them for two hours and then literally get it if you want after the fact. Either way, it shows everything I'm demonstrating here as WordPress as a platform. WordPress where all these things are features of the larger thing instead of sort of being thrown into a flea market and hoping for the best. This is Spence. I'll see you on the next video.